I'm Brandon with World Events in the Bible. I just want to talk to you about some comments that were on the site the other day about the tribulation, preparing for the tribulation, uh, maybe some items you should have, um, stuff along those lines. And we do have a Bible study on this titled Preparing Your Households for the Tribulation. You can find that at worldeventsinthebible.com. Click the Bible study tab at the top of the site and uh, there you'll find it. So, but let's look in the scriptures just real briefly here and uh, let's go ahead and turn our Bible to Revelation 12. I'm already there. Uh, verses 14. And to the woman were given two wings of a great eagle, that she might fly into the wilderness, into her place, where she is nourished for a time, and times, and a half time, from the face of the serpent. Now we know this serpent is the dragon, it's Satan. Revelation 12, uh, verses 7 through 9. But she's nourished. And who is this woman? It's uh, basically Israel, which is the 12 tribes, um, specifically um, God's election during the end times. So what is this basically three and a half times here? It is a section of the tribulation, maybe from the middle of the tribulation on. And why is that? Because Satan, while he's on earth for the whole time of the tribulation, he doesn't have absolute control until the middle of the tribulation. And from Daniel, we know that's the time that he makes war with the saints. Um, if you're interested more on that subject, we have a study on that as well. It's uh, titled The Saints and Their Role in the Tribulation. You can find it at the same place um, I mentioned earlier. Um, and so with that, you know, I just I wanted to give an example. You know, um, the Bible is our examples, especially for these end times, as 1 Corinthians uh, 10, verse 11 will, st will state. Um, so let's go ahead and look at one example where God did provide. And we're going to turn to Deuteronomy in a moment. And what's so important about that is it's the, basically the exodus of the children. They left captivity after... Uh, they left captivity and uh, went to their promised land, you know, which was Israel. And us in these end times, our promised land is basically looking for the return of Jesus Christ and, um, and that time. So let's turn to Deuteronomy 8. Let's make that Deuteronomy 8 verses 2 through 4. And thou shalt remember all the way which the Lord thy God led thee these forty years in the wilderness, to humble thee and to prove thee to know what was in thy heart, whether thou wouldest keep his commandments or no. Verse 3. And he humbled thee and suffered thee to hunger and fed thee with manna which thou knewest not, neither did thy fathers know, that he might make thee know that man doth not live by bread only, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of the Lord doth man live. And we know Jesus is the living word. Jesus is that bread of life. Verse 4. Thy raiment wax not old upon thee, neither did thy foot swell these forty years. So, you know, it's just documenting there that for forty years their clothes didn't wear out. And their, sh their feet didn't even get sore from walking all that time. There's some people who, you know, they could barely walk uh, maybe to the grocery store before their feet start to get a little bit tired there. But, I mean, if you can really imagine that, 40 years and the clothes didn't wear out, the shoes didn't wear out. So the, the point here is just that God can provide. If you've done your part to prepare, um, then I believe God's going to be there for you. If, if big two-letter word, you're doing your part. You're, you're reading his word. You're staying in his word. So I just wanted to talk with you about that. And thank you for watching.